What's going on, everybody? Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Hopefully, if you guys got the federal holiday off, you're getting to spend some time doing some grilling or some family time. Maybe if you don't have any family around, you're doing some fishing, hunting, watching a video, whatever makes you happy. Day off to relax. If you got it off, if you got it off. But I want to hit it onto a video that um, a couple people talked to me about. And we're going to dissect a video, a break in question, basically. And I'm going to put my opinion out there, what I see and what I think. At the same time frame, um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background before this, before I go into it. I'm going to give you like a two-minute snippet of a 20-minute uh, half-case gold standard break. And then what I'll do is I'll come back, talk about it, and then I'll post a 20-minute video for anybody who wants to watch a 20-minute video. Right after all that. Just because I don't want anybody like getting like super bored during a 20 minute break. Okay, so background on this. This has to be a new breaker from what I've seen and everything else. He only had one break on YouTube. Um, he, throughout the video, is talking about his internet connection and camera and all that stuff. Saying new equipment's coming in. And I'm going to uh, pretty much turn it over from there, I believe, right into the video. I'm just making sure I didn't double tap anything that I missed on my first video because I misspelled dissecting. Yes, yes, I caught it this time before I posted the video. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it with it offhand. I mean, like I said, guy's first break that I could tell offhand. Talks about pretty much um, his camera, internet, sorry, apologizes, new equipment's coming in. But go ahead and watch this about two minute uh, little snippet of just one of the boxes, and I'll come back and talk about it. See y'all in a few. Real good ones. That, that Matt Ryan was really, really nasty. A five of five. That's a, that's a good one there. I'd like to hit one of these. Justin Field, Trevor Lawrence was, was that's what I was shooting for. Rookie Auto Yami Brown 110 of 149. This thing is not focusing worth a crap. Like I said, guys, I'm sorry. This this camera is not going to work. Michael Gallup for the Cowboys 19 of 299. Patch. Oh. This camera's terrible, hon. White gold, Miles Garrett, Cleveland Browns, good brown spot, 81. The camera's awful. Jeez. Oh. Nigel Harris, ETN, Javante Williams. One, two, three, patch. Broncos, Jags, Steelers. We're going to have to roll the dice on that one. Um, we'll take care of that. That's a nice card. Rookie tri-patch. So essentially what I do, guys, on on dual, dual cards, tri-cards, I roll the die. Um. Uh, Oh, that's sharp. Michael Thomas, number 12 of 25, the purple. Purple, though. Um, one and two gets the first on the top of the card. Uh, three and four get the second, and five and six get the last. Uh, J.K. Dobbins, 19 and 99. So, essentially saying, let me pull it up here again. Steelers would be 1-2, Jags are 3-4, Broncos are 5-6. And we'll roll the die for that. 
All right, we're back. Did you guys catch what there was? It was in question on there. I think if you were watching a 20 minute video on this, you probably would have been bored till you got to this point here. Cause I think it's like nine minutes in or so um, into the break. So like halfway through it. But if you notice when he opens the pack up, there's an orange Jersey card on the top. The video kind of flickers, I guess would be the word I'm going to use right then to where that shows an autograph card being face up and the packs laying down. And, you know, my understanding was the video was being done live. It was being done through his cell phone. And I, this is nothing like super against people that use cell phones. Um, but this is why I would choose not to use a cell phone off him because I use a streaming program that allows me to broadcast and then do a recording behind it. Because if something like this would happen, this is notorious on Facebook and YouTube to where there's glitches and they're like you'll miss like a second of something or two seconds. And it's mostly done due to the internet connection and then the upload to YouTube and all this stuff. It, it gets real technical. I had somebody explain it to me a long time ago. So an experience breaker that was been doing this for a while is going to know basically you got to have some kind of recording going on behind you because if something happens, you won't be able to be able to show that full video. And this is be one of those instances. This is why I don't use um, a cell phone. If I was to use a cell phone, I'd have my GoPro up behind me just recording it just so I could show the whole break in case something bad would happen, especially with like power flicker and everything else or internet going out. And I know if you have a desktop, you're just pretty much done. That's why I'd hurry up, flip my phone on or GoPro or something and just try to put all my customers at ease, especially being brand new first break. There, I could see if you had a laptop, you still got battery life, so you're still recording. Wait till everything comes back. Hopefully, you have enough battery life to keep going. But at least you do everything you humanly can to make it, you know, as safe and to put people at ease during the break. I personally would not have started doing breaks if I had equipment inbound. If this was an eBay break, I'd hit everybody up and be like, "Hey, guys." My cameras or camera that I ordered is not in yet. It got delayed. It won't be here till this day here. Um, I really don't feel comfortable doing this for my phone. And I'm going to postpone it to here. If anybody wants a refund, I'll refund you, whatever it may be at that time frame. None of that was done. But like I said, a lot of people out there are watching the same types of breaks as this one right here and thinking that is the standard and it's not. When I first started, and I'm going to use this for an example, I was on Vaughn TV that turned into Breakers TV, and I didn't even start a break for about a week. I would go live when nobody else was live, and or it was just like one or two people to practice, and I would open up boxes in front of me. And people would come in and be like, oh, you got product, what are you breaking? I'm like, oh, I'm just practicing to make sure I have the right camera angles and you know volume and all that. And the guys would stay in there with me, watch it, and we were always, you know, chit-chatting. Now, of course, you get the new breaker haze, you know, and stuff like that. And, yes, I just air-quoted, and I know you guys can't see it. <laughs> um, but, you know, overall, you start building a bond like, hey, he's trying to do the right thing. And you have guys, hey, put your camera a little bit like this. And, you know, you work and tweak through it. I was just lucky enough that people came in there, and they were very helpful during that time frame. My whole plan at that time frame was, you know, to do some practices, rewatch the videos, see how I can make it better. But that was my thought process because back then there wasn't, you know, thousands of people trying to do breaks. Back then you might have been lucky if there was 50 to 100 total, even if that. Um, so I, I don't think this guy is at any kind of crazy fault. He does overemphasize onto the hits being pulled, but... That could just be the way he's doing his breaks. I mean, it's only one that I can look at. And maybe he's trying to make cards look bigger and better so that people will come back, you know, and rebuy into the breaks. He also didn't do a recap at the end, which you should always do, especially 
with something like gold standard it's a quick recap i mean recap all your top load hits and with that there you can recap every card i would have done that at the end which he didn't do again it just comes from being inexperienced and probably watching other people that weren't doing the stuff like that because if i didn't get into a break especially if it's a long break and i don't watch it i just want to watch the recap to see what i hit i mean i think everybody else agrees on to that Try to make sure I hit everything that was in my initial uh, card in front of me here. Because like I said, I had to redo this video because I spelled dissecting wrong. <laughs> Still can't believe I did that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, let me know what you guys think offhand with it. I mean, to me, I would never break with anybody that has poor camera angle and everything else. I mean, the guy had a hard time keeping anything on camera. There was parts when you guys, if you watched the whole 20-minute video where stuff is just getting bumped around i mean you really want to keep all your product on the table in front of you so like if this is my break all my boxes are lined here and i'm conducting a break up here the top camera is showing those boxes aren't moving i'm not flipping them out or anything else like that but you know everybody has to learn somewhere out there onto it i just with this one, like I said, I don't think there's any ill will intended by the guy. I think he's just very inexperienced. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Um, what you all think on to it. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and hit the 20-minute video if you guys want to watch it. If not, you you know, go ahead and hit end here. It's, it's really long. Um, I don't even remember what was pulled in, to be honest with you, because I was more watching for what was wrong with the uh break in question basically but with um a little bit of experience from back in the day of doing this stuff i just want to throw my two cents i guess you could say out there or opinion onto it things do happen it's a shame it was on the guy's first break and like i said i don't think a lot of this would be getting talked about if we didn't have a whole lot of bad going on in the hobby and I don't think he, he like purposely stole a hit, a jersey card on the top or anything like that. I just think he had faulty everything going around. And, you know, whoever he was watching do breaks and trying to set up just he didn't mock it right. Or maybe he was watching on Instagram or somebody else doing it. But all right, everybody, that's pretty much it. I rambled on for enough here on to it. There comes up the 20 minute video. I will not be back at the end of it, so have a good week. I will catch you guys. Uh, I'm going to try to probably go live from the card show from my phone. I'm going to see how that works out. I might not be able to read comments, but eh, we'll see if I can get it. If not, I'll get some footage for sure. Other than that, see you guys in the next video. Take care. It is 9 o'clock, September 4th, 2021. We're going to do half case of gold's standard 2021 nfl let's get it rolling thanks for getting in guys seen some pretty cool cards come out of here Box number one. Ooh, right on the top. Got a patch auto. Pat Fryermuth. Nice card. And all these will be uh, put in penny sleeves and top loaders as well. Another patch. Dang, this is a good one. LeVar Arrington. Auto number 11 to 75. Oh, by the way, I want you know. The other. Another camera. This thing is not doing well. And if y'all know how to reverse on the live stream, um, I'd really appreciate your comments um, for some reason. I, I can flip it when I do the normal stream, but or when I replay it, but the uh, the live stream wants to be mirrored. 
Um, this Chris Godwin, mother load, 20 of 299. Nice one. Tyreek Hill, 190, 180 of 199. I really like these gold standards because they come in really good shape, too. It just drives me nuts when you get the uh, national treasures and you spend so much on them. And uh, they come with a dent in the card. Ooh, ooh, what do we have here? Opulence, Des Fitzpatrick. That's new this year on the release, uh, the 2021s. Uh, these things are sharp. That's the first one I've seen, too. 10 of 39. Nice card. And last but not least, Ben Roethlisberger. He is 19 of 99. Good card. That's box one. That's a dang good box. I like that. Good start. Good start. Steelers are crushing. Number two. Davis Mills, rookie. Uh, well, that's not a rookie. It's his patch auto. It is his rookie patch auto. Sure is. Hopefully, he'll do something. We'll see. I cannot believe he took, uh, took precedent over. Deshaun Watson, number 41 and 149. He's, he's got the number two position over Deshaun Watson. All right. Matt Ryan, rookie tri patch auto. Number, is that right? Five of five. Huge Falcon spot. That is nice. Nice card. Good Falcon spot. Number 16 of 199, Racy McMath. Auto. Rookie. Oh, this is a good one. Jerry Judy. Patch. 268 of 299. And like I said, all these all these will be put in penny sleeves and top loaders, guys. You know that. CD Lamb Mother Load. That's the good one. I know if y'all have been watching the uh, Hard Knocks, he's um he's learning from one of the best, the Mark Cooper, one seventy three at two ninety nine. Um, I think he's gonna do really really well. He's certainly got the hype from the show. Jacob Harris, rookie. Of 99. And last but not least, Trey McKitty, 13 of 15. That's a good one. 13 of 15, Trey McKitty. Nice charger spot. And I'll see, he's got a little, he's got a little nick in the top corner, but not nothing too serious. All right, guys. Box three. Nice one on the top here. Gold. 
Gold Auto Vikings, Amir Smith Marset, rookie dual patch auto. That's a nice one, number two of 49. And like I said, I apologize about the camera, guys. I'm gonna get this get this straightened away for us. Kyle Long, 94-99 auto. Gold Strike. That's a new one this uh, this year as well. I believe they just added the Gold Strike. I could be wrong. I, I, um, a few of the, uh, the Gold Standards. Cortland Sutton, AU, Gold, 29-99 auto. Cam Akers, Gold Gear, $60, 299 patch. Ooh, what do we have here? LaDainian Tomlinson, the boy, LT. 15 of 49. That's a quad patch? Yep, quad patch. 15 of 49, Hall of Gold. That's a nice one. 30 of 49. And Aaron Jones, 41 of 75 for the Packers. It's a pretty good start. I had a couple of really good ones. That, that Matt Ryan was really, really nasty. A 5 of 5. That's a, that was a good one there. I'd like to hit one of these. Justin Field, Trevor Lawrence was That's what we're shooting for. Rookie Auto Yami Brown one ten of one forty nine. This thing is not focusing worth a crap. Like I said, guys, I'm sorry. This this camera is not gonna work. Michael Gallup for the Cowboys, nineteen of two ninety nine patch. Oh, This camera's terrible, hon. White gold, Miles Garrett, Cleveland Browns, good brown spot, 81. The camera's awful. Jeez. Oh. Najee Harris, ETN, Javante Williams. One, two, three, patch. Broncos, Jags, Steelers. We're going to have to roll the dice on that one. Um, we'll take care of that. That's a nice card. Rookie tri-patch. So essentially what I do, guys, on on dual, dual cards, tri-cards, I roll the die. Um uh, Oh, that's sharp. Michael Thomas, number 12 of 25, the purple. Purple, though. Um, one and two gets the first on the top of the card. Uh, three and four get the second, and five and six get the last. Uh, J.K. Dobbins, 19 and 99. So, essentially saying, let me pull it up here again. Steelers would be 1-2, Jags are 3-4, Broncos are 5-6. And we'll roll the die for that.
Mm -hmm. uh, mark, mark That's how you open them. Slide them out upside down. And you don't have to try to prime them out of, out of the box. Oh, nice. Try patch gold auto tr Kyle Trask. 36 of 49. My baby's Florida Gators. That's mine. That's, not, <laughs> that's a nice card. That is a very, very nice card. Hopefully he does something. We'll see. Uh, his, his preseason is... Has been uh, shaky at some times, but we'll see. You never know. They got sometimes they just have to learn the playbook. Rookie Seth Williams, auto number four of twenty-five. Another purple. That's a, those purples are sharp. White gold. Devin Singletary, the Bills patch. 47 of 299. Another Cam Akers. He's he's going off tonight. Gold gear, Cam Akers. 34 of 299. Patch car. Gold gear. That's the second Cam Akers. Uh Dak Prescott. Our boy Dak. 99 of 199. Nice card. Dak's going to turn it around this year. He's off that injury. He's he's looking hungry. Took my boy Deshaun uh, Watson's spot. I don't. He must be pretty dang good. I don't know. And Joseph Asai, rookie. 66 of 96. All right, guys. Like I said, I uh, I apologize for the camera. Bear with me. I've got stuff coming in. Um, not only as far as uh, cards, uh, but um, things to make this, these breaks look a lot better. Uh, so I, I really. Like I said, thanks, man. I really, I really appreciate it. This, this is what I love doing. Ian Book. Try patch gold auto forty five of forty nine. Yeah, these glares are just out of control. Oh, the fridge. William Perry. Auto 42 of 99. Remember, Bill Romanowski. Broncos 29.99 auto. Gold strike. That's a good looking card. I like that. It's got this gloss on it. It's pretty sharp. Nicole Hardman Jr., 45 of 49. That is a one, two, three, four quad patch. That's sharp, too. Good looking card. Baker Jarvis. That's a good one. 210, 299, dual patch. Golden pairs. And two chargers back to back. Larry Roundtree, rookie, 22 of 49. Keenan Allen, gold standard, 19 of 99. 
nice car. Like I said, guys, these will all be put in penny sleeves and top loaders and uh, will be promptly shipped your way. Um, I uh, appreciate your time. Guys, like I said, we'll, 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 huh? Oh, yeah, the dice. Forgot about the dice. Thank you. Got to roll the dice. Where's that? All right. This is. See it? Uh -oh. There it is. All right. All right, guys. Like I said, three car, three player, tri patch. Najee Harris, TTN, Javante Williams. Three of the top running backs in the league drafted this year. Rookie, three car patch. This dice right here. Pittsburgh's one two. Jags are three and four, and Broncos are five and six. Let's get it. You roll it, hon. Roll it like you. Roll the five. Can't redo it. No. Oh. Broncos are the winner. So we will get that out to you. Uh, Good Bronco spot. You got a couple cards. Broncos got a few, actually. Uh, they did well. Um, but yeah, we'll get all these into into sleeves and top loaders and get them sent out there to you. Uh, like I said, thanks for bearing with me, guys. I'm just getting started doing this, so uh, I, I I really appreciate it. Um, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. You didn't sound very excited. Either.